When we got together, we were really kind of focusing on our careers um, in the entertainment field. We really weren't thinking about family. Great things were happening for Eric and Nancy Pierre. They recently married, had a new baby on the way, and together gave their hearts to the Lord. Then one day, everything changed. On the day their baby boy was due, I just started bleeding. Um, I went to the bathroom and something popped. I remember when I went into the hospital because Nancy was upstairs and my mother-in-law came downstairs to tell me that Nancy lost a baby. So when I went upstairs and I saw the baby, I just started thanking Jesus for just being able to see the baby. You know, my biggest fear was walking out of this hospital without a baby. And how would I explain this to people? You know, I serve a risen savior, you know, who does miracles. So how am I going to explain to them, you know, there's no baby. As time went by and they drew closer to the Lord. This may have happened now, but you know what? It was for a reason. I don't know what the reason was, but I know it was for a reason. And we began to just, you know, heal and people would just continue to encourage us. And before you know it, you know, life was back to normal again. The next couple of years, not only did God heal their broken hearts, but God blessed them with more children. Several years later, Nancy was pregnant again with their third child. It was about mm, five o'clock in the morning and I felt like this heaviness in my stomach. It almost seemed like when I turned over, my stomach turned over after. So we knew from the first birth that we weren't going to play any games. We would rush to the hospital. Okay, we need to go now. When I heard the doctor say we needed to go now, I immediately said to the Lord, God, not again. Please, Lord, I can't go through this again. They rushed Nancy into the operating room and did emergency C-section. They were doing everything simultaneously. They wheeled me out, stuck the IV in my arm. I mean, was giving me anesthesia. I mean, everything was happening at the same time. They had to resuscitate the baby. The baby was actually dead, swimming in the blood for three minutes. Nancy's doctor, Dr. Leontine Narcisse. Nancy came in with placental abruption. Her placenta had basically started to remove itself from her uterus. This is dangerous to the baby because now the baby's oxygen supply starts to go down. This condition is also life-threatening to the mother. The detached placenta causes severe hemorrhaging, which in turn causes vital organs to shut down. She was bleeding internally. And uh, so that's where it became very scary because they didn't know how to stop the bleeding. She was critical. I mean, 100% critical. I noticed that I kind of saw life leaving my body. Um, I saw my fi my fingers turning like a, a dark brown. It's like I was dying. I, I knew it, but I was so passive. Stay with us, Nancy. Nancy? That I couldn't react or respond or pray or do anything, but something was happening, and I was dying. But I needed God to show up quick. And so I needed some people who knew how to pray. You could tear down heaven. Um... Did you think you were going to lose your wife? Nancy was in a coma, and baby Pierre was monitored 24 hours a day. Both were in critical condition. Was there ever a time in your life where you didn't trust God? You say, Lord, I went through this already. I don't want to go through this again. I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone. She would call me every morning to encourage me. And um, I said, it's hard for me to trust God during this situation because I don't know what's going to happen. How do you trust God? And she said, just bear everything to him. Just share, share your heart with him. How did you really feel at this time? God, I need your peace. I, I need to have clarity of mind. I, I need you to show me what's going on in this situation. I, I don't know. I don't know how to pray. I know I'm praising you. Is this enough, God? What else do you want from me? Are you breaking me down, God? Friends and family prayed day and night for Nancy and her baby. 
we decided to go into Operation Prayer Warfare. I tied scripture around everything, just believing that those healing words would just penetrate the flesh. Her husband was there every night praying and reading their Bibles. The level of faith in this family was just tremendous. When did things begin to turn? And when did you start to see God answering your prayers? I was walking back to the hospital. It was late, about nine o'clock. And the Lord reminded me of a dream that Nancy had um, where she crushed a helicopter <laughs> with her bare hands. What did that dream represent to you? What did it mean well, to you? She knew that God was giving her strength, supernatural strength. That's the moment when I knew that Nancy was going to get better. After 11 days and around the clock prayer, Nancy woke up. They thought that I was going to be some vegetable or have some sort of uh, um, um, issues, walking or thinking. No, God made me whole. Not only did he heal me, but he made me whole. I'm in my right mind. I have long-term, short-term memory. Only God can do that. See, man can do a little bit and sew you up and maybe you'll be a little crooked, but God came in and he made me completely whole. In fact, just three days after coming out of a coma, Nancy walked out of the hospital. Not one miracle, there were two miracles. God miraculously healed their baby girl as well. I think they evaluated her like up the wazoo because they couldn't believe it. They basically kicked her out <laughs> and said, your baby's more than normal and she's smart as a whip, get her out of here, she doesn't need us. Today, Nancy and Eric have four beautiful children, including their miracle baby, Naomi, who is now a vivacious four-year-old. I have to tell everybody about the healing power of Jesus Christ. You have to understand that God is real. So if we really, really believe in the Word of God and we believe what He says is true, then we won't have any problems trusting His heart for us.